Hey, what's up guys? I bought a Raspberry Pi 4. It's my first time. I really wanted to try the things that you can do with a Raspberry Pi 4. So I got one and then when it arrived, it just came like this and before you get to buy one make sure you get some of the other accessories so that you're not going to run the problems i did i thought i could use it right away so when you're going to buy this one there are other accessories you need to buy with it like the power adapter you need to get one so that it will be powered that's a type c connector you need to have a micro hdmi that's where the display is going to come out and of course you need to have a micro SD so that you can flash your Raspbian OS into this device. Well, of course, the first thing we need to do is install Raspberry Pi OS into this Raspberry Pi so that we can use it. So make sure you have those ones so that we can start right away. Okay, so on our computer, we need to download the Raspberry Pi OS. You can just go ahead and type in Raspberry Pi. I'll just put the link in the description below. Click on Downloads. And first up that we have here is the Raspberry Pi image for Windows. Since we are using Windows, we need to download this one so that we will be able to flash the Raspberry Pi OS into the SD card. Okay, so if that will be done, we can go ahead and select our OS. So let's go for this one previously called Raspberry Pi Raspbian OS. So let's download this recommended software. And then we're going to wait for this one. I'll just show all so that we can see the time. This will depend on how fast your internet will be. So what I'm going to do here, guys, um, as you can see, the imager is downloaded. We're going to wait for this one to finish. So I'll just pause this video, come back again when we're done so that we can continue to the next step. Okay. Now that we're done, guys, as you can see it here, it's already downloaded. Let's go ahead and install the imager we downloaded first before the Raspberry Pi. So I'll just open this and then it will come up to this uh, easy wizard, installation wizard. Just go ahead and press next until it's going to be done. So it's finished. Let's run it. Then before we get to choose the OS, we need to go back and extract the downloaded zip file for that Raspberry Pi. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to go ahead and extract this one because we cannot flash this one if it is still archived or zipped. Okay. So we're just going to wait for this one again to finish up. All right. Done. Okay. The next thing we need to do, guys, is plug in our card. Let's get back to our computer, continue our imager. Then here we go. We go to choose OS, locate the extracted Raspberry Pi OS. There you go. Open. Then choose the SD card we just plugged in. That's the storage device. And then we click right. So this will take time. I'll just go ahead and, you know, pause this video again, get back to the next page so that we can continue. So if you are doing this installation, like what I'm doing, you can go ahead and pause it and come back again if you're done. Okay. So when you reach that hundred percent, it will jump into verify. So it will verify the OS that has been written into your USB stick. Then after verifying that one, you will have this message that your SD card is ready. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. So let's go ahead and hook our Raspberry Pi all together so that we can see if this is installed already. Let's go ahead and assemble. This is my cable here. I'm just going to plug it to the display port and then I'll have my power, plug it like that. Then plug this one to the monitor I have here. I'm going to focus this one later on. I'll just plug in the device. Okay. Then of course we need to put in our micro SD card. Okay. There you go. The light will be blinking at the side and it should be booting on our monitor Raspberry Pi 
Wait, okay, there you go. Raspberry Pi is there. So this is the first screen you will have. It's a uh, welcome to Raspberry Pi desktop. Next, we're going to set the country we are in. Time zone, use English language. Next, to the password, I'll just go ahead and click close. Yeah, and then we have the apps of Raspberry Pi. Uh, in my next videos, guys, I'm going to explore more about Raspberry Pi and the projects that comes with it. So I'm going to share it with you as well. So I hope you like my video, guys, and Hopefully, um, if it's your first time here, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share it to your friends, okay?